So I'm making meatloaf. As you can see in the bowl, I already did all my mixture stuff. And as you can see here, this is what they look like. So here's where I was referencing the X of the bacon and the ball of meat. So I have issues touching raw meat, so I wear gloves. Ball goes in the center, and you flatten it like it is a hamburger. Okay, so this is where we make octopus arms. Chris, cross, apple. Sauce. Push it down some more to make your patty shape. Then flip it over. See? Pretty. Make sure you have a nice hot stove. Yes, I'm cooking at 9.15 in the evening. That is from when I had leftover sauteed onion and garlic. So, we grab our patty. See? Flat crisscross. Flip it over, see the folds? Fold side, down. Fold side, down. And then you cook them in the pan like you would a regular hamburger. Nothing special. Bacon wrap meatloaf with brown sugar ketchup glaze. As you can see, it has kind of a uh, crazy list of ingredients. I'll send it to you. I try not to flip them until I know for sure that the bacon underneath is crispy and that the meat starts browning on the edges. Here's that kick-ass glaze I told you about. It is vinegar, ketchup, and brown sugar. It can be doctored to where it tastes more sweet or more vinegar. I find a little extra vinegar makes the meatloaf taste better. It just tastes better if it's got a little bit more vinegariness to it. And I hate vinegar. Here we go. They're still cooking. All right, let's check it. That's pretty good. I like to pat the extra grease off. Until it's fully cooked through. And there's the end time after four. Just top with your red sauce. And enjoy.